Hello, and welcome to Football on TV. I'm your TV football analyst, and I break down football scenes from popular TV and movies for their realism and quality. Today, I'm looking at the TV show, Modern Family. Set! Hey! Oh, hey, you're going the wrong way! That's the wrong way! No! Wait, I'm sorry. You're right. Here's a coaching tip. It usually helps to hold the clipboard the right way. Excuse me, Principal Brown? Yikes. And you know, most subs just play a movie. All right, do something different, guys. This guy's a real Bill Belichick. Listen, I, uh, I can't be your history teacher. Those kids work so hard, and they deserve someone who knows the material and can inspire them. So, you say so. Hey, I was wondering, what kind of play was that you were running? Was that supposed to be a slant? A freshman coach quit. I'm just a glorified babysitter. Yep, that's pretty much what most of coaching is. Well, your receiver needs to learn to run his routes, or the quarterback's never going to be able to hit him. I, I played in college. As a coach, I resent that. Just because you played football at a high level doesn't mean you're qualified to coach at any level. Oh, okay. Hey, Tyler, you need to learn to run your routes. What routes? Yeah, what routes? Um, well, I'm going to line up here. That is actually a proper wide receiver stance. Take three steps. One, two, three. Plant right, open left, 45 degrees up the field. And that is the proper way to run a slant. Hey, why don't we try it again? Try it again. Tap. Put some zip on the ball, 18. Hut, hut, hut. Hit him! That was well executed. The receiver ran a good slant, and the quarterback hit him right where he needed to. Better, better, good job. Circle back up. Did he say circle back up? That's not a phrase I've ever really heard on the football field. I think he means huddle, which is a commonly known expression in football. All right, anyway, thank you for the opportunity. Hey, hey, how would you like to take over this team? He really wants to get out of coaching that team. And that's all it takes to get a coaching job, is to show one receiver how to run a very simple pass pattern. NFL, here I come. Oh. Well, that's an interesting offer. How much does it pay? Nothing. Are you firm on that? Yeah, but there's a gym teacher position available. It's all yours if you coach. Can I wear shorts? Yeah, and you get a whistle, too. Well, I always get a whistle when I wear shorts. I humbly accept your offer. Huddle up, boys! So he does know what a huddle is. Let's go, hustle! Do you know what hustle means, Ted? Gentlemen, today's a new beginning. That can be scary. We are forging a new path, people. The only thing we have to fear is fear itself! Brown President, just keep pushing! Okay. It all comes down to one thing, gentlemen. Focus. And teamwork. And heart. You see this mallet? Think I can swing this here mallet with one finger? No! I need my whole team! Because when you're functioning, working, as a team, gentlemen, look out! Ah! Sassy granny? Yes, sassy granny. Yes, exactly. Because that is what you all played like last night. That's a little bit sexist and gender reductive. It's a bunch of sassy grannies. Well, we're going to bust our humps this week. We're going to get out there. And we're going to play like a bunch of... Girly men. Got it. <sighs> Hey, you know what? Is this thing now plugged in? It's not electric. I think it was made in the 1800s. Okay, well, that's my point. This is outdated. This is offensive because girls are athletes too. So, in conclusion, if you want to win football games, we got to go out there and play like a... What is Daddy doing? Daddy's smashing his demons. Oh, like the ones you vacuum up at home? Yeah, yeah, like that. Follow my lead. Okay. Ready? Come on. Hi. Come on. Oh, but look who finally put down his mallet. You done having a little temper tantrum? It wasn't that bad. Cam, your behavior was completely juvenile, and I don't think that had set a very good example. But hey, hey, no cutsies. For Lily. I'm sorry. I'm just frustrated. I, I can't seem to turn this team into a winner. Why do you let it get me so stressed out? It's just football. You know what football was to me? 
Football was my salvation. Every time I stepped onto that field, I wasn't the weird gay outsider kid anymore. I inspired my entire team because I had something to prove. Where's my kid that has something to prove? Come on, Mom! Hey. Stay on my head! Follow my lead! <laughs> That's exactly what I need. <laughs> Come on, Mom! Cake? I get the comparison they're trying to make, but pushing through a crowd of people at a fair has no translation to actually blocking in football. Yes, Phil, I remember your special play, but I think the triple goal wing is a little tricky to run at such an important sporting match. No self-respecting coach would let some random person not on the coaching staff make up a play and install it into their offense. Wouldn't happen. Cam has a number of delightful superstitions during the football season. Well, they're not superstitions when they work. That seems sciency. Not sorry that today is the last G-A-M-E. Well, thank you, but good coaches don't need luck. We make luck. See you at the athletic endeavor. I'm going to call Gloria and see if she can pick up Lily, too, you know, just in case. What, you procrastinate again and not tell Charlie you're quitting? No, no, I'm going to do it. I just, I'm picturing his face when I tell him, shaking his head in disappointment. It's hard. Hey, just do it. No. I don't know why you're making yourself so crazy over this. You're right. You're right. I, I do not want to be crazy. I'll see you at the game. Hey, Gloria. Hey, Miller, your toes are looking a little lonely. Why don't you pay him a visit? What's with the extra warm-ups, Coach? These guys haven't won all year. Did you hear that, team? Miller just bought you a little present. I wasn't complaining. I was just wondering why we have Take to... Take a lap! Is he making his team run laps right before the game? That wouldn't happen. Bert Lavoisier, Red Stag, Ducky Pond, all coaching legends at this high school, and none have won more than two games their first season. I actually like this joke because football coaches have some of the funniest names ever. I mean, Bum Phillips, Urban Meyer, Tommy Tuberville, Hugh Freeze, Dabo Sweeney. Everyone's heard of uh, Lambeau Field, but the coach it was named after, his name was Curly Lambeau. I win today. That makes three, making me the winningest first-year freshman coach ever. Oh, hey, Luke, Ruben's sick, so I'm going to need you to be the announcer today. How am I supposed to keep score and announce at the same time? Same way you're spazzing a dork at the same time, sport. Okay, lose the attitude, but keep that intensity. Uh, uh, excuse me, ref, what's with all the black armbands? Their coach passed away last night. He'd been sick for a while. That's terrible. And we're still playing? They're tough kids. Roger Knight lived for high school football, so they're playing this one in his honor. Okay, hey, guys, 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 tragic news about Coach Knight. You know what? We need to focus up. Plenty of time to pay our respects, but there will be no morning night this afternoon. A lot of character over there. Yep. Those kids haven't won a game all year. Uh-huh. Now to have to play on his birthday. Okay, see you at the coin toss. Coaches don't go out for the coin toss. The team captains do. Beautiful day here at Red Stag Field. Kicking off from the home team is number 44, Jason Miller, who also plays lacrosse, soccer, and all the girl parts when he and his friends act out High School Musical. Quite possibly the only girl parts he'll ever see. <laughs> Top time. Panther 6, Dolphin 0. That's zero score by Jason Miller, who proudly prances off the field. Just let me go up there and kick that kid's butt. Knock it off, Miller. I need your leg. Take a knee. Now, I don't know what tuna net you dolphins swam into, but you are drowning out there. Coach, would it really be such a bad thing if you lost? Beg your pardon? Look at them, Coach. Haven't they lost enough already? Maybe giving them a win would, in a way, be a victory for us, too. Okay, you know what mattered the most, Coach Knight? His work with special needs kids? Okay, he took one kid to one beach one time. Football. Football is what mattered the most. He lived for competition. He believed in sportsmanship. Integrity. Okay? Now, the way I see it, we can roll over and give them an empty, meaningless victory that he would hate, or we can go out there, leave it all on the field, and be a team he would be proud to lose to. Now, is this an I activity or a we activity? We. What? We. What? We. 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 That's right. We. Now you see my doings. Hey, guys. Hi, honey. What a mess. 
Nothing good. We're down by six with three minutes to play. Well, they can still turn it around. Show's not over till the fat mom. Oh. Ooh, sensational punt by Miller, who hasn't kicked that high since he broke the gender barrier and joined our own modern dance troupe. Time out. 12 seconds left, they're down by six and unable to shake the Miller curse. That's it! Okay, boys, final play. Time for a little trickery. Is he just going to let his players storm off the field like that? Like, he should have some more control over his team. Hold on to your hats, folks. Are they? They are. It's the triple goal wing. That's my play. Woodson fakes right. He fakes right again. He fakes faking right, and he scores. By the looks of it, it was just the old fumble rooski play. Miller's out, Manny. You're my backup kicker. I need you to go out there and nail this. Did his regular kicker not come back? See, he wouldn't be relying on his backup kicker if he had more control over his players. Although if I miss a win, that tie be a perfect way to... Manny, enough! You are not going to take away my victory! I mean... I mean your victory. Okay? Manny, I'm sorry. I should not have yelled at you. You can go out there and do whatever feels right. Okay? I support you no matter what. So he's number 92, but he's the backup kicker, and earlier they made it seem like Cam got him to join the football team because what he saw at the fair, which made him think that he'd be a good offensive lineman. But number 92 is generally a defensive number. Champ, aren't you going to go celebrate with your team? Yeah, in a minute. You meant to miss the kick, didn't you? I blew it. I could miss that kick nine out of ten times. Why couldn't I miss it when it counted? <sighs> Let me ask you something. The ball sails through the uprights. Your team carries you off the field. How does that feel? Come on. Good. It's fun being part of a team, and it's really fun being a hero. So I think you made that kick on purpose. Listen, I don't think you're willing to admit it yet, but somewhere underneath all that humanity, there's a competitor. Sorry. There's a competitor. Manny, there's nothing wrong with that. Nothing. Thanks, Coach. Want to go eat some pizza? Sure. Me too. Hey, you think someday they might name this field after you? <laughs> well, you're not the first person to think along those lines. Earlier today, someone in the faculty bathroom was messing around with the phrase Cameron Tucker Dome. <laughs> you think you can get this thing to work? Hey, you're supposed to be the lookout. What if somebody walks in? Oh, gee, they'll call my parents. And that's the Toronto Argonauts logo. Somehow I doubt Jay Pritchett is a big CFL fan. But I always find it funny on American television shows, usually when they show professional football, it's usually CFL footage. I'm assuming it's just a lot cheaper to buy the rights to show CFL footage rather than NFL footage. Hey! Look, you did it! Yeah, it's not that big of a deal. Listen, I'm going to get back to cloud. Before you go, let me ask you a question. How do you know how to do all this stuff? Back in high school, I was in the AV club. We did all kinds of crazy things. One year, we hit a microphone in the gym. We could totally hear everything that was going on at prom. I used to make fun of guys like you. This is pretty cool. Really? You think this is cool? Yeah! First down! All right. Under my leadership, the varsity football team is now 5-0. and New school record. Very exciting. Cam, I can smell your hat from over here. Can I please just pop in the laundry? And wash the luck off. I've worn it to every game. Another good luck gift basket, Daddy. Oh, they just let seven-year-olds sign for these. Okay. Oh, nice. Let's see what we've got here. Eggplant jelly? What do they say to say don't like you? Go, Coach. Go, Dolphins. Oh. No, that's just a little go heavy. Pink salt? What is wrong with people? Okay, I got a skedaddle. I'll see you guys after the big game. I thought one of his superstitions was he didn't say the word game. I think this is my 
least favorite coaching stereotype so far. That football coaches just yell things like run and score from the sidelines instead of actual instructions. Win! <laughs> yeah! And it's four minutes yeah! left in the second quarter. There's four minutes left in the second quarter and he's already screaming win? Getting a little ahead of yourself there, coach. That's Dolphins 27, Badgers nothing. Go Dolphins! We're really giving our fans our money's worth today, boys! How much are the fans paying to see this game? He's at the 30, at the 20, the 10, and he's in for a touchdown. Badger score. What? We haven't let anyone run back a kick all year. What happened? Run! Tackle! Try! And there he is again, just yelling football words from the sidelines. And did he say cry? Touchdown, Badgers. What's going on, Coach? All of a sudden, everyone's just off. Yep. At least Mitchell finally made it to a game. Yep. Focus, defense. They got two players hurting us. It's not that much to keep track of. Shoot, End of the third quarter. We're all tied up. You throw that clipboard, Coach. That's how the audience knows you're angry. Fucker. Okay, hey. Everybody grab a cup of water. Maybe you can hold on to those, huh? How exciting is this, huh? Oh, you dropped on a clipboard. I thought you had a work dinner tonight. I did, but I blew them off. I'd rather be here supporting the team. You better go, Dolphins. <laughs> yeah, I love that. But, you know, the game's almost over. You might want to beat traffic, so. I thought you'd be happy that I was here. Why do I feel like you're trying to get rid of me? I have no idea. It's not because you're a jinx. A jinx? Do you think I'm a jinx? No, 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 no. This all can't be on you. I'm hearing a lot of things that sound like the opposite Coach! of what you're... We need a play! Yeah, it's a tie game in the fourth quarter. You should probably be talking to your team, not to your boyfriend or husband. I can't remember if they're actually married at this point in the show or not. And Malcolm just got stung by a bee. I gotta go. A bee! Okay, get some baking soda. Only six seconds left. The Dolphins still down by three. 40 short yards, six long seconds. We got this. One, three, go Dolphins. Two, three, go Dolphins! All right, Manny, this is a real Hail Mary. Win or lose? I still have a hot girlfriend. Dolphins come to the line. There's a snap. Tommy Park back to pass. He looks downfield. He's got a receiver. Touchdown! We won! We won! I was kind of getting into the whole football culture. There was an elegance that was. Okay, you generally don't dump Gatorade on the coach after a regular win, usually only after a championship win. Hey, great game, champ. Hey, they finally won a game that didn't require a last-second touchdown. Uh, excuse me, young man. Was it Coach Tucker's openness that gave you the courage to come out? So this reporter is assuming that this teenager is gay just because he spoke French? How does she know that he's not an exchange student from France? Hey! Hey! Come here. Or right all the way back. I gotta see you away. Congratulations. Thank you. Are you on makeup? Oh, well, just on my face and my ears and my neck and my hands. Yeah, so listen, about this morning. Uh, Coach Tucker, no, no, Coach Tucker, can we get a few words on your big win? Oh, um, I, I need to do this. Of course you do. Thank you, Mike. So tell me, Coach, how does this victory feel? Well, it feels great. Obviously, I feel like the belle of the football. Don like that when Don's laughing. It's pretty groundbreaking how the school has embraced you. Well, I'm grateful to the school, you know, and the kids and the parents. But, um, you know, I got to say, uh, I'm most grateful for, for this guy right here, my husband, uh, Mitchell, Mitchell Pritchett. Um, he's an attorney who is the voice for people without one. He is a, a real hero who doesn't get the credit he deserves. Today I went down and I watched him in the courtroom. I knew that was you. I recognized your ringtone. I'm building something. You know, yeah, I get a lot of attention, you know, coaching this game. This man right here quietly defends the rights of real people with real problems, homeless people, forced to get jobs. That's not it. That's not it, but it was so close. Yes, 
I'm standing here boldly abolishing gay stereotypes, but my makeup's running against me. Yes, Dwight! Oh, that was terrible form on this tackle there. He just kind of shoulder checked the guy, but because he's big and strong, it worked. But that's terrible for him, and the coach should be uh, cr criticizing his technique for that for sure. That's the way you read the reverse! It didn't really look like a reverse, it just looked like your basic toss play. Gentlemen, circle up! We are 3 0. Oh. But if we're going to go all the way, we all need to be as mentally and physically tough as Dwight. That's an inspiring speech, coach. You're pretty much just telling them that overnight they need to transform into this monster of a man that's towering over all of his teammates. Coach? Yes. You know how my dad's in the service? Uh-huh. He's been restationed to Florida. What? Today's my last day. Okay, uh... Everybody get some more. Coach, okay? Mm -hmm. yeah. There's a football player on the team who needs a place to stay until the end of football. No. No, no, no. Would you let me finish? Okay, fine. Go ahead. Season. No. He can't stay at your camp. We don't have the room. He can sleep in the den. I love the den. I watch TV in the den. Besides, where are you going to sleep tonight after this fight? He can sleep in the apartment upstairs. No. We need the rent to pay the mortgage. I'm sorry, Cam. It's not going to happen. Coach, can I come in yet? See, now you've put me in an awkward position. Why can't he stay with someone else? Because I'm his football coach, and his father trusts me. In the past, it wow, what a terrible throw. There wasn't even a receiver anywhere close. The ref is blowing the whistle. He's not even in the end zone yet. I think we get the point now. This kid is a monster of a football player. Take it. Over here for just a minute, buddy. Have a good game. Thanks, good coach. game. Yeah, so listen, I got something kind of rough I need to tell you. No, I know you and Mitch aren't just roommates. Excuse me, can I have everyone's attention, please? As you know, uh, Dwight's father was recently restationed to Florida, and it was my intention to have my family have Dwight live with us, but unfortunately... But, uh, unfortunately uh, for our opponents, he's going to be with us all season because the rumors are true. Dwight is going to be staying with us. Why is there a microphone set up on the sidelines? I've never, ever seen a high school coach make an announcement to the crowd after a game like that, ever. Cam? Uh, let's hear it for this month's person with a porpoise, Mitchell Pritchett. Wait, how did you know about that? Did that report go? Oh. We are having a serious conversation when I get home. But I'm loving this. Upper Valley on the two-yard line. Ten seconds to go. A touchdown will win the game. Okay, timeout. Timeout. And that's a timeout. Go Dolphins. Coach, what is our defense? Okay, so you know, it's a running situation. It's not really a running situation. It's third down and only ten seconds left. It depends on how many timeouts they have left. If they don't have any timeouts and they run it and don't get it, clock will run out before they get to run a play on fourth down. But if they pass it and don't get it, assuming the play doesn't take the whole 10 seconds, they have one more crack at it. But they've been killing us with that pass all day. My gut tells me they're going to pass it. Okay, just let me think about it. Woo -hoo. Those dumb bastards are going to be thinking pass, which is why we're going to run. Trap two on the left side. My vice principal walkie talkie accidentally picked up that Upper Valley coach calling her dumb lady play. Now, was I going to change my defense? Only some spineless, win at all cost glory hound would choose winning over showing some moral fiber. Please, every coach on the planet would take that information and use it to their advantage. It's just dumb luck that they got that information. It's not like they were actually spying on their communication devices. It just. Happened to happen. Dolphins win! Dolphins win! Everybody in that stadium, including me, was expecting a pass. But your instincts told you something else. That's big time, my friend. I, I, I appreciate it, Jay. Thank you. No, no, close the gap! Ball, 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 ball! 
It was a nightmare. The biggest opportunity of my career, and I couldn't focus. I tried not to make any mockable movements. David Taji was just operating at too high a level. Then something wonderful happened. That's when I realized I knew that chicken. Those weak punches of run that said, hit me last in gym class. It was my Mitchell. Okay, guys, come on, let's huddle up, huddle up. Let's get out there and play our hearts out. Let's go, let's go. Bring it in. Pekowski, come on, something more interesting going on over there? Yeah, does anybody else see the dolphin fighting the chicken? Because I got hit pretty hard in the head earlier. Okay, first of all, who's in charge of security on this field? They're just going to let two mascots beat the crap out of each other right on the player's bench during the game? I don't think so. And also, jokes about kids maybe having concussions or a little crass. All right, let's go. All right. This is what we're going to do. Run a Chris Proof. Pikowski, go! Get him out there. They are a mess. No focus! You told him about not eating chicken, right? It's a nervous bird. Before the game, you eat your calm mammals, your beefs, your muttons. Okay, go. Things like that is why Jay Pritchett would be the last guy I would ask to help me coach a football team. Guys, get in here. Let's go. Huddle up. We're about to play for the city championship, and Jay here has been helping out. I've been a team booster for years. Usually that means cutting a check from the Pritchett Cares Foundation. We support athletics, and we educate at-risk youth about careers in closets. It's a real path out. Okay, this is the biggest day of your lives, and you're looking like a bunch of little girls out there. What's wrong, Pikowski? Did you forget your Barbies? Coach, we've been talking. The language you've been using lately feels, well, hurtful and sexist and a little gender reductive. Exactly. What the hell's happening? We'd just like you to consider adopting a more empowering style. Okay, you know what? This is football. What's wrong? Are your training bras too tight? Coach Tucker, please see me in my office now. Students are a protected class, and it is not okay for you, an elite white man of privilege, to bully them. Privilege? I, I, I make a teacher's salary, and I'm doing it. Yeah, gay doesn't really get you the mileage that it used to. Now, if you were trans, we'd be golden. Oh, has the whole world gone crazy? Yeah. Okay, boomer. Hey. No, no, I've had it. I mean, what, everyone's so sensitive, they're going to ruin football? In my day. Insert heart sound effect to signify reminiscent. Hey, our team, the Hamilton Cabbage Eaters, captained by Kanish Bronstein, took on the Lincoln Banditos, QB by Jose Speedy Gonzalez. And after three hours of pummeling each other's privates at the bottom of dog piles, we shook hands like brothers and all went to brawl the sausage heads in Pierogi Town. America. Beautiful melting pot. Did you not hear, like, half the things you just said? How was that your life? You were in high school during the summer of love. Coach Tucker, I don't know why this man is here, but he's a member of the elderly protected class, and legally, we can't contradict him. I'm sorry. You're going to have to find a gentle way to motivate your players. I don't know any other way to coach. Then you're just not a very good coach. What we need is advice from someone who played football but also is a namby-pamby millennial weirdo. Jay, you're not helping. Thank you for coming. We're here to teach these gentlemen how to communicate in the 21st century. Let's go around and each say the gender pronoun we prefer. I'll start. I'm cisgender, he slash him. She slash her. They slash them. Oh, I'm not here to bust chops. Bob is fine. This is your rugby team. Tyson, I see you, I hear you, and I'm listening. I would have preferred you stuck to the play we called, but I respect your independent spirit. Okay, Pikowski, treat the area around the quarterback as a safe space, and think of the other team's defenders as destructive thoughts trying to attack our self-esteem. Okay, we get it. It's getting a little over the top. It's not working. I hate losing to a team with a Viking mascot. Hey, you died out and became Swedes. Hip, hip, hooray for socialism and seasonal depression. 
again I ask who's in charge of security on this field because the mascot generally isn't allowed to just walk around on the opposing team's bench during the game. A championship from Brian, you got to do something. Ben, this is the biggest moment of your life. And I don't know how to fire you up. My original plan was to come in here, single out the underperformers, and throw diapers at them. If that's your best motivational strategy, how are you a head coach of a high school football team still? Now I realize that could be interpreted as insensitive, or perhaps anti-baby. I'm sorry, but the football field was always my safe space, okay? It's where in high school I first gained the respect of my peers. And if I'm being honest, where I'd hoped I'd finally gain the admiration of my father-in-law. Now I feel like I've just let you all down. You want to know how I feel? Hurt. And Coach Tucker doesn't know how much we appreciate it. Triggered because he's got to apologize for a few words after all he's done to prove himself as a man and a coach. I've admired you for a long time. And if I haven't let you know that, that's on me. And I'm sissy gendered enough to admit it. And from now on, I'm going to make sure that Coach Tucker knows he's a person of value I admire and respect. Coach Tucker's a person of value I admire and respect. Coach Tucker's a person of value I admire and respect. Coach Tucker's a person of value I admire and respect. Coach Tucker's a person of value I admire and respect. Now let's go take it to these guys, who I'm sure are blessed with other gifts, but are not great at football. Now let's go! Yeah! Yeah! You believe they bought it? Bought what? And so we must evolve if we want to succeed. That's right, guys. High knees. High knees. Call me to your left. Call me to your right. Stop dragging, Petkowski. They're coming after your sweetheart. You know what they did to Poland? Boy, I want to stop this, but there's nothing in the guidelines about communists. Wait, why are they still practicing? They just won the championship. The season's over. Now we're high like a hippie. We're bending over well, like okay, a... Okay, shut it down, Jay. All right, boys. Hydrate like I taught you. Adam. Ugh, gross. I think milk would be the absolute last thing I would want to drink when I was exercising. And that does it for this edition of Football on TV. Today we looked at the show Modern Family. I know this was a rather long video, but this show was on TV for 10 seasons. Overall, a lot of the football coaching scenes relied a lot on stereotypes and cliches, a lot like the show itself. Thank you for tuning in, and if you made it through this whole video, thank you very much. Like, comment, subscribe, whatever you want. Share the video if you enjoyed this. There'll be more coming at you. See you next time.